I would argue it's not possible to simulate complex processes without mathematics. Mathematics helps you to understand and to find the basic aspects of complex processes. So the abstraction you have in mathematics is what is helping you to simplify and what is helping you to understand complex processes. And for the human heart, this means we have to understand the electrophysiology, that is the electrical activation, the heart is contracting, we have to understand mechanics. There's a fluid in the heart, which is blood, which is to be pumped, so we have to understand fluid, and we have to understand the interaction of all these uh, three things. So there's the electrical activation driving the mechanics, and then the mechanics pumping the fluid, and of course, there's some feedback. And for each of this, there's a certain set of uh, equations, which are not easy to find on their own, we have to couple them. And then in the very end, we have to make sure everything is correct in the sense that it matches our observations and the data. And in all these steps, you have to understand what you do. You have to model well. And none of these steps would be possible without mathematics. The computers get bigger and bigger and get more parallel. So what we get and what we see in the supercomputing range is that we get bigger machines, which are basically designed by putting more small machines together. So what we have to do when we would like to use the new and bigger computers, which will come and which are already coming, what we have to do is we have to develop mathematical methods which help us to use parallel computers. And this is uh, a non-trivial task. Just imagine you have to build a house, but you don't have one worker, you have 10,000 worker. So you have to coordinate 10,000 people building a house nicely and as fast as possible. And this a little bit is uh, the thing we have to do when we have to use the new supercomputers. There's another aspect, and this can be seen particularly in Switzerland, and this is for the new supercomputers, we have to deal with very particular hardware. So in these days, what is getting more and more of interest or already for a few years are accelerators, for example, GPUs, which are graphical processing units. They are also used heavily for artificial intelligence. And we have to adapt our algorithms to the hardware. And then this combination of mathematics and informatics and in the sense or in the case of the heart of uh, physiological understanding is in the very end what will help us to solve big problems. The models we build are always a reduced version of reality. They can be a very detailed and a very precise version of reality, but they are always, in a certain sense, a reduction. What you can do with mathematics, you can try to understand the models we have on the function of the human heart, and we can try to reduce them to make them simpler or to derive particular models which can be used for a certain purpose. If you would like to place a pacemaker, maybe you would like to use one tailored model for this case. If you need to replace a valve, maybe you would like to use a different model. And what we can do in mathematics, we can help to solve the big complex problem, looking at the whole heart beating. Or we can say, ah, you are interested only in a small part. You are interested only in the valve. You are interested only in the electrical activation. And then we can build particular models for this. What we also can do, because data in particular for human beings is very individual and sometimes is not so clear and precisely available. So what we also can do, we can tell the doctor, listen, we can tell you how uncertain a prediction which gets out of a computer is. Yeah, this is what you see, for example, in the weather forecast. They don't tell you tomorrow it's 25 degrees, they tell you it's between 22 and 27. And then you know somehow this is going the temperature. And you know there's maybe a probability of 80% this is going to happen. And this we can do also for personalized predictions uh, for cardiologists or for surgeons.